So yeah, let's take a look at what we've done. You know, light mix. So when I hit the interactive render all over again, you're gonna see a whole lot more light mix here than we have before. So if I should turn anyone off, you can see the effects over here. When I do that, you can see the ambient light, ambient two. You can see for the drop light, the drop lights are all going on and off. You can see for the spots, you can see they are now turned off. You can see the one for alcoves. Okay, this is what the light mix does, does for you. Okay, this is ambient light. Hello and welcome back to Simple or Difficult. In this video, we are going to be talking about light mix, how to create them from the scratch. Okay, as you can see, this scene, I have a lot of lights. When I do interactive render, you're going to see I have a lot of lights, you know, going on in this scene. Okay, we have lights from this pendant light, we have cove light, we have spotlights, we have lights at the bar, okay? We also have lights all over this scene. All right, so with this light mix now, you can see when you come over here to the light mix now, you can see that I don't have any light mix there yet. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you various ways you can create light mix. Okay, so to create light mix, let me stop this. To create light mix, all you have to do is come over here in the render settings, click on the render setting. And then in the scenes tab, you're going to see under here setup light mix. All right. So if I should click this setup light mix, you can see a lot of ways you can set up this light mix. You can set up this light mix using instance light. What this means is, if you duplicate it or if you use the clone option of instance, like when you want to duplicate the lights and you duplicated them as instances. So when you do this, all the lights that are instance are going to be one. Okay, they're going to be one light mix. All right, so I do not remember doing that, but that is what we're going to use. The group light, as you can imagine, it means the lights that you group together. When you do that, all the group lights, they will all fall inside one light mix. Now you can choose to use layer to do this thing. Okay, you know, over here in the layer, okay, over here in the layer, if you, you know, put various light in, in varying layers, you can still use the layers to, differentiate your light mix and all the ones that are in the same layers are going to be inside the same light mix then you have the individual individual light means every single light will be in separate you know light mix okay so for the purpose of this tutorial i want to show you how to still group the light no matter the one you use okay so we're going to be using instanced light i'm going to hit generate okay when i do that you come over here you see we have a lot of lights okay I am not going to leave all these lights here. So um, let's let's just do interactive render first. We don't want you don't want to have this amount of light mix in this place. I mean, this is just too much. I don't even it's it's just too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this and I'm going to go and delete the light mix. Okay. Or delete them and then we are going to add our own so i'm going to start from this environment and i'm going to delete let me let me exclude this rest i don't even know if i can be able to delete it but let me exclude it. so now when i do interactive render you can see that um, everything has been removed okay everything is now inside rest okay so now we're now going to start arranging our lines and then adding them into light mix. I will show you now. So I'm going to stop it. Mind you, assuming I grouped all this light together, I could have used, you know, the grouped option. But I'm just trying to like, this is the worst case scenario when you have a lot of light instances in your scene and you do by instance and that happened. What can you do about it? Okay. So what I will do is I'll first of all, pick these lights apart. Okay. So I'm going to come over here, change my selecting option to lights and then window select all the lights in this scene and isolate them okay you can see i have all the lights here now so first of all these are the ambient lights so i'm going to select them okay so now when i'm done selecting them okay what i will do is i will come and click on add okay when i click add i'll go down to like select not like mix now like select okay you select this light select click okay and then 
hit this the add button there's a plus button over here then under the name i can now name it ambience light okay okay they are now in their own light mix so let's bring everything back and do an interactive render and see what we have you can see we have our ambient lighting already inside here in the light mix so when you you can see when you turn it on and off the effect of that light mix that we just added so we are just going to do the same thing for every other light in this scene we are going to do it for the spotlight we're going to do it for alcove we're going to do it for every other thing else all right so i'm going to stop this All right. So you can also add um, you can also add light material to this corner light mix. Okay. So all you have to do is select the object that has that light material. Okay. So I'm just gonna close this bar. Okay. I'm gonna close it completely. Then this um, overhead lighting system here, I'm going to close it too. So when I select, I'm going to select everything all at, all at once. All right. Well, let me add this to the drop lights as well. So I'm going to go to settings. So when you want to add a light to an already existing light mix, all you have to do is select that light. Okay. Select the, like I want to add it to drop light, this particular one. And I'm going to hit the plus button. So when I hit the plus button, it has the light in there for me. Okay. So that's how it works. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to add the lights in this, in this bar on its own light mix. Okay. You can see I already have one. I have bar O1. So I'm gonna just come over here, create another light mix, by you know, light select. So I'm gonna name this bar O2. Okay, I'm going to hit the plus button. Just added all the, even the, the, and what is it called again? The, the light materials that are attached to this object into here for me. So when I control it, everything controls at once. If you want to like do more with this, like if you want to create a video, you want the light to light separately, you can add this thing separately in different light mix. But for what I want to do, I want them to all come up at once. All right. Yeah. And mind you, the more light mix you have in your scene, the more um, the noise and that your corona might have to do. Okay, so I think I have one light down here. Maybe it's part of what I added to this you know, light mix too. So yeah, let's take a look at what we've done. You know, light mix. So when I hit the interactive render all over again, you're gonna see a whole lot more light mix here than we have before. So if I should turn anyone off, you can see the effects over here when I do that. You can see. Okay, so see this one over here. That's the going on and off. You can see the ambient light, ambient two. You can see for the drop light, the drop lights are all going on and off. You can see for the spots. You can see they are now turned off. You can see the one for alcoves. Okay, this is what the light mix does, does for you. Okay, this is ambient light. Okay. You can see for the lights I didn't add in any distance. Like this bar, I this bar light over here, I did not add it into any light mix. So they are still left with the rest. I have an accent line, shining lights on these, you know, these plants over here that I didn't add to anything. 
so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a like and if you're new to this channel consider subscribing not only subscribing ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future tutorial thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you in the next one ciao